hello guys welcome welcome again guys to my youtube channel welcome for if this is your first time watching me kindly subscribe and comment and also you can share this link guys so it's another beautiful beautiful day of course a wednesday morning guys a wednesday morning and we're actually coming live from the village of Nyabohansi. so guys i really want to thank you and thank you so much for for the people that have really been supporting me and for those that have been watching my videos commenting you you are the best actually you are really the best so guys on today's video i want to show you how cleanliness is done here in the village with no cleaning machines guys you know for those who lives who live in town or in the cities uses or use some cleaning machines to do some cleanness in the house or even outside the house but for us here in the village for us here in the village guys things are really really different so i want to start guys by slashing let me take my slasher here so this is the slasher so we are going to use this to slash then after that guys we are going to do also some laundry some laundry so guys keep watching this and also guys subscribe if you haven't tell a friend to tell a friend to come and support Pope Africa guys Pope Africa that is my name on my youtube channel so guys subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend support your boy here from the village support guys support so let's go and start slashing outside there you know by the way guys slashing is like is a part of pest controlling for those who know how to control snakes like people like me first thing you should do in your compound or on your compound if you want to control snake is by making sure that you slash the grass to a level that a snake cannot hide so after that after slashing then you can spray different pest controls insecticides or pesticides yeah is it a pesticide or insecticide <laughs> anyway guys you can tell me down below the comment section so we are going to start to start by slashing then after that we are going to do laundry yeah and uh, i think i'll i'll show you guys uh, the forest we've gone with our bulletproof don't forget it's a bulletproof house guys so i'll show you where we've gone so kindly watch this till the end and tell a friend to tell a friend to support Pope. yeah i'm at more than 1000 subscribers road to 5000 subscribers so the only thing that i need is the watching hours i'm still looking for the watching hours so that i can be monetized guys and i believe you my people that i'll be there I'll attend the watch hours and I'll be monetized by the grace of the Lord. You know, I believe that God has his own time and God's time is always the best. So, keep watching guys. Let's go outside and, uh, and slash.
finish in slashing. I do want just to do some laundry over here. These are the clothes. And these are the basin of water. So it's just because that I really don't have someone to hold the camera for me. But at least guys, you will see how we are doing the laundry. So let me... So, when first you want to wash your clothes, you separate the white ones from the other colors. So we are going to start by washing this white shirt over here. So guys, I've already finished washing, let me show you. Yeah. So, this is the white cloth guys, you can see, it's white. So after that, we're going to rinse it with the very clean water in this basin over here. This one. So guys you can see how it looks very clean as white as snow as white as snow so let's go and line it so that it, it can get dry Yes guys, you can see behind me I've already dried my first, my first cloth that I've washed. So as I told you earlier, you have to, to, to separate the white clothes first and that was the only white clothes that I had. So I'm going to take these black, black ones and, and soak them, soak them in the water. So later on. I'm going to finish up with the, the trousers, the two trousers. So guys, let's continue with our laundry.
so guys I've already done some laundry and uh, I'm done with it so you can see at my back here guys I've decided to line my clothes over there at the at the iron sheet on top of the iron sheet because I want them to dry faster I want them to dry faster let me flip the camera guys so these are the clothes here guys the reasons to why I've put it on the top of uh, the iron sheet on the top of the house is to help dry faster you know it's a it's a harvesting season and we don't expect rain this soon so it's really sunny here in the village and uh, when you wash your clothes and put them at the top of uh, at the top of the iron sheet or at the top of the house they really dry faster so in 30 minutes time i think the clothes will be dried will be dry up and i'll be maybe ironing them and this one the reason of why i've lined them here is because this is a white there's a white shirt here this white shirt so there is no way i can put them on the top of the iron sheet or the house so guys and also this is the water that i've been using to do some laundry you can see the the clothes were really dirty you can see the water has even already changed the color you know some of the clothes that i washed like these jeans over here it fades it fades the color so that's why you can see there's some bluish over here some blue color over here so and this is the bus of that is, this is the bus of that a piece of bus of that um, i was using using washing my clothes so guys next is here so i really don't want to pour this water i don't want to pour this water because this water will be used to clean or to mop the house so guys kindly keep on keep on watching this video keep on guys watching this video till the end if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe and also you can comment down below the comment section and tell me how you do laundry where you are watching this video from are you using a laundry machine or you use a uh, your bare hands and uh, a piece of bar soap kindly guys tell me tell me below the comment section because this is how we do here in the village yes yeah, so guys i want to mop the house and guys here in the village here in the village we don't use moppers so if you don't have a mopper you just use a a piece of a worn out a worn out lot like this that i'm holding so this one is my mopper today i want to show you guys the village life here from here Nyabuhansi. so this is the typical village life guys so we are going to use this to mop the house just a piece of uh, a worn out cloth so let me dip inside this water. Yeah. So, guys, let's go and do some mopping in the house. So, guys, we still have some uh, lot of dirty clothes here that we be doing laundry. So today I've just decided to wash a little bit of my clothes. But there's still a lot here. So, you know, washing with your bare hands is something hectic. So, you just have to wash the little you can. Then, tomorrow, wake up and wash them again. So, there's the duvet. I also had to wash this duvet. But all these clothes here are dirty. So, but I just have to wash them. So, guys, so this is our. 
this is our pair of as just a piece of our own of course. So guys, I'm done. I'm done with the mopping the house, and uh, wow, guys, someone. It's not an easy job, but it's also someone's responsibility to make sure that at least cleanness. You know, we do say cleanness is next to godliness. So it's part of everyone's responsibility to make sure he is clean, guys. So as I told you, we're coming live, guys, from the village from the village guys and uh, there's something i want to show you guys and and i really want to appreciate you people for those who that have been really supporting me and god bless you so much god bless you guys so this is the shape of the house guys this is the shape of the house the actual shape and uh, you can see how it looks so you can see guys it has really started bringing shape let me show you from a uh, far distance so you can see we are done with the with putting poles plus the parallel poles over there so the only thing remaining is placing the iron sheets guys so you can see it's only placing the iron sheet and will start smashing mud after we have placed the rafters between these poles so i'll be showing you step by step guys how a mud house or a bulletproof house is being constructed from here in the village guys so actually we had purchased a lot of uh, a lot of poles and you can see these are the remaining poles guys these are the remaining poles that can even start can construct another house like that in fact the poles that are remaining here um, are many compared to the one used to construct this house over here so i think it they will be useful they will be useful because will be maybe We'll use it to construct a house of the of the cows and the cattle plus the goat. So that will be somewhere over here. This space that you see here, this whole space from the kitchen to this other house. There's a very big space here that can be used to construct even another house. And despite that, we have also this space over here over here guys from that house to this one this one is much bigger this one is much bigger this space over here so i think the poles that are remaining will be really used will be used and be useful for another project so guys i'm actually going to end this video here and thank you so much guys for watching this till the end kindly guys if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my youtube channel and also guys kindly watch my videos till the end so that at least i can attain the watch hours that are required by youtube so guys thank you so much for watching and let's meet guys in my next video Kindly guys you can comment down the, below the comment section and tell me the difference between the life here in the village and where you are watching us from. 
if it is from a different village you can also share share how you the experience is at your place or where you're watching this and if you from the sitting and you're watching this kindly guys comment down below the section the comment section tell me how you do laundry or how you do some cleanness yes here from where you are watching this from from guys thank you so much let's meet in my next video guys bye bye